हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इस एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड ए प्रॉब्लम ऑन स्टेट स्पेस मॉडल हियर वी नीड टू डेवलप ए स्टेट स्पेस मॉडल फॉर द इलेक्ट्रिकल सर्किट व्हिच इज शोन इन दिस फिगर सो फॉर दिस इलेक्ट्रिकल सर्किट वी नीड टू डेवलप द स्टेट स्पेस मॉडल सो व्हिच मींस वी नीड टू राइट टू इक्वेशंस स्टेट इक्वेशन एज वेल एज आउटपुट इक्वेशन फॉर द गिवन इलेक्ट्रिकल सर्किट सो हियर एन इलेक्ट्रिकल सिस्टम इज गिवन whose input is vi and output is vc let us take this output as y and we need to identify the state variable for the given electrical system first we need to identify state variables so here we can identify two variables first one is the current through the inductor and second one is the voltage across the capacitor we'll choose these two because il as well as vc are the key quantities that defines the energy stored in the system so we'll take x1 as il which is current through the inductor and x2 as vc which is voltage across the capacitor so x1 is il and x2 is vc so these are the state variables now we need to write the differential equations to write the differential equations let us apply kvl to the loop of the circuit so we will apply kvl to this loop of the electrical circuit so we will start from vi and we will write the equation for kvl so we can write vi is equal to I L into R plus L D I L divided by D T plus V C. So here you need to remember that once we identify the state variable, so for this state variable we need to write the differential equation. So we need to write differential equation for I L and we need to write the differential equation for V C. so from this equation let us find the differential equation for il which is dil by dt so we can write dil divided by dt is equal to vi minus vc minus ilr divided by l since il is x1 so differentiation of il we can write it as differentiation of x1 so in place of dil by dt we can write the differentiation of x1 so differentiation of x1 we can write it as x1 dot that can be written as so we have vi in this equation vi is the input that can be written as vi is equal to u so in place of vi we can write it as u minus here the next term is vc we know vc can be written as x2 so we can write x2 in place of vc so u minus x2 minus we have ilr so in place of il we can write it as x1 so we can write x1 r divided by l so we can rearrange the above equation and we can write this as x1 dot is equal to minus r by l into x1 minus 1 by l into x2 plus 1 by l into u let us take this as equation number 1 now let us find the current across capacitor so current across capacitor can be given as il is equal to c dvc by dt therefore we can write dvc by dt is equal to il by c so we got the expression for differentiation of vc so differentiation of vc is nothing but differentiation of x2 so we can write that as x2 dot is equal to here il is nothing but x1 that's why we can write x1 
divided by c so x2 dot is equal to 1 by c into x1 let us take this as equation number 2 now we can write state space equation first one is a state equation that can be given as x dot is equal to ax plus bu and output equation can be written as y is equal to cx plus du this is state equation and second one is output equation now using equation 1 and 2 let us write these two equations in matrix form using equation 1 and 2 we can write state space equation in matrix form so from equation 1 we can take x1 dot and equation 2 we can write x2 dot so we can write x1 dot and x2 dot so we can write matrix for a so equation 1 x1 term is minus r by l and x2 term is minus 1 by l so we can write that minus r by l minus 1 by l and in equation 2 x1 term is 1 by c and we don't have x2 term so in the matrix we can write 1 by c and second term as 0 and we can write x1 and x2 plus we need to write the matrix for b with respect to u so in equation 1 we are having u as 1 by l and equation 2 we don't have the term for u that's why we can write 1 by l and 0 that is multiplied with u so this is the matrix for state equation now let us write the matrix for output equation we know output can be given as y y is equal to vc in this above given circuit so that's why we can write y is equal to vc so here vc is nothing but x2 so we can write y is equal to x2 let us write this equation in this form so let us write y is equal to here we don't have x1 term in this equation we have only x2 term with value 1 so x1 is not there we will write 0 x2 is there with value 1 and we will write the matrix x that is x1 x2 plus we need to write the matrix for u we don't have any term with u here so that's why we will write the value as 0 which is multiplied with u so this is the matrix for the output equation so this is how we need to develop the state space equations for a given electrical circuit hope you have understood the topic thank you